Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering exam. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with construction planning and scheduling. So the first question, if TO, TP and TM are the optimistic, pessimistic and the most likely time estimate of an activity respectively, the expected time T of the activity will be option A, T0 plus 3 TM plus TP divided by 3, option B, T0 plus 4 TM plus TP divided by 4, option C, T0 plus T 4 TM plus TP divided by 5 Option D TO plus 4 TM plus TP divided by 6 So the correct answer is Option D TO plus 4 TM plus TP divided by 6 So next question A construction schedule is prepared after collecting Option A number of operation Option B output of labor Option C output of machinery Option D all the above So the correct answer is Option D all the above So next question if an activity has its optimistic, most likely and pessimistic time as 2, 3 and 7 respectively, then the expected time and variance are the respectively. Option A 3.5 and 5 by 6, Option B 5 and 25 divided by 36, Option C 3.5 and 25 divided by 36, Option D 4 and 5 divided by 6. So the correct answer is Option C 3.5 and 25 divided by 36. So next question, board charts are suitable for option A minor works, option B major works, option C large project, option D all the above. So the correct answer is option A minor works. So next question, the first stage of construction is option A preparation of estimate, option B survey of site, option C initiation of proposal, option D preparation of tender. So the correct answer is option C initiation of proposal. So next question the probability of completion of any activity within its expected time is option A 50 percentage, option B 84.1 percentage, option C 99.9 percentage, option D 100 percentage. So the correct answer is option A 50 percentage. So next question time and progress chart of construction is also known as option A bar chart, option B can chart. Option C modified milestone chart, option D all the above. So the correct answer is option D all the above. Next question, the difference between the time available to do the job and the time required to do the job is known as option A even, option B float, option C duration, option D constraint. So the correct answer is option B float. So next question, the overall in charge of the organization at the site responsible for the execution of work is option A, executive engineer, option B, engineer, option C, junior engineer, option D, assistant engineer. So the correct answer is option B, engineer. So next question, various activities of a project are shown on the board chart by option A, vertical lines, option B, horizontal lines, option C, dots, option D, crosses. So the correct answer is option B, horizontal lines. Next question, a critical ratio scheduling, option A determines the status of each activity, option B adjacent automatically changes in activity progress, option C is a dynamic system, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option D none of the above. So next question, a golden rule for the procurement of construction stones suggests option A 100% at the site, option B 67% at the site and 33% under procurement, option C 50% at the site and 50% under procurement, option D 33% at the site and 67% under procurement. So the correct answer is option B 67% at the site and 33% at the procurement. Next question, the time with which direct cost does not reduce with the increase in the time is known as option A crash time, option B normal time, option C optimistic time, option D standard time. So the correct answer is option B normal time. Next question, for a given size of bucket, the ideal output of the drag line will be leased in option A moist loam, option B sand and gravel, option C good common earth, option D wet sticky clay. So the correct answer is option D with sticky clay. Again we will see in next video. Thank you.